To create a sustainable future for the growing population, the world's natural resources need to be managed sustainably. Robin Ross went to the Natural Capital Initiative Summit to find out how biologists are preparing for the future. Insects, the soil, the air around us, the water and marine life. Mother Nature plays an important role in our well-being and the economy. It's known as natural capital. We're in London for a summit on natural capital, bringing together leading scientists, NGOs, businesses and policymakers. The Natural Capital Initiative is a partnership of four organisations, including the Royal Society of Biology. It's working to bring together sector leaders to discuss the current state of natural capital research and how it's used. One of the biggest challenges is raising awareness of the importance of natural capital and also the fact that we are using the Earth's resources way faster than they are replenishing. Water is a huge asset, but flooding risks destroying households, businesses and infrastructure. So there's a call for engineers to use the natural environment as a flood defence more often. Quite often, natural flood management techniques will be cheaper to apply than the traditional engineering solutions. And in addition to the cost benefits to a company, there are also additional natural benefits. Overall, we've only got about another couple of decades to make a real difference. Words of warning from DEFRA's chief scientific advisor, which is why natural capital is playing an increasingly influential role in public policy and business decision making. The summit has definitely had an impact on policy. Um, what we've seen since the last summit is a 25-year environment plan being developed by government um, and there's a, a, an environment bill is currently in front of parliament. Uh, both of those have taken up the natural capital uh, principles. One of the biggest new developments at this year's summit was artificial intelligence. So my research fills into natural capital through the work we do in Oxford, which is the mapping modelling. What we then do is create uh, online tools so a landowner can draw around their area and work out on their land which parts of the nature on their land have a really important societal benefit. So it could be the trees and how the trees on the land are reducing downstream flooding through to the hedgerows that are really important for pollination. These discussions are essential, with scientists being very clear and vocal about what their studies have shown and political representatives needing to find a way to preserve the economy and the living standards. Well, there are always trade-offs. One of the biggest challenges for environmental research is because of its complexity, it's often disputed, uh, there's often challenge to it. Uh, so refining the research outputs in such a way that we can be um, absolutely certain that the, 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 the results are robust is really important. There's lots of local councils, lots of city plans are now starting to incorporate this whole idea of natural capital. And many, many counties around here, for example, around the sort of London basin now have their own natural capital plans where they know how many trees they have and they know how much carbon those trees are sequestering. Economists are seen as playing a key role in helping to understand the value of nature. There's the area of environmental economics, which is where I'm from, where people are involved in natural capital, but that's increasingly becoming part of the mainstream. The ONS have been working to bring in the sort of natural capital assessment and natural capital balance sheet of natural capital in, in our environment. But there needs to be more done to really bring that alongside the typical GDP and other metrics that the Treasury and, and international organisations use. The summit is designed to get people talking and sharing. We positive and um, very academic but it kind of delivered in a very uh, accessible way I thought. The basic problem is actually communicating the messages to, uh, to people who have not been part of the, the scientific process. It's not a technological fix, it's not a science fix, it's got to bring people in as well. It's all about accountability. So accountability as an individual, um, what impact are we having on the environment with our choices, but also accountability of a business, thinking about their supply chain impacts on the environment. This summit is just one of the many efforts of the RSB to bring together sector leaders to discuss challenges and help develop solutions. The natural capital of the world underpins everything we do, so we need to conserve it for the future.